Hi guys, Miss Jackson here. I have a very special book for you today. It is one that is so close to my heart. I found it at a bookstore, Books A Million, and I was just walking along and I saw it on the shelf and I picked it up and I read it right there and then I paid the ridiculous $18 or something like that to buy it new. That's how badly I wanted it and loved it. Um, the illustrations are amazing. Illustrations means the drawings. The person who drew the pictures is such an artist. I think you're gonna like it. Um, it's not an exciting story like sometimes I tell you where you get to yell things out and we interact together. It's more of a me read and you listen and think about it. But it gives me good thoughts. It gives me something to think about when things are quiet or when nobody's around. So I hope this is a book that will help you think big thoughts too. All right, it is called, What Do You Do With An Idea? And it was written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by May Beesom. And look, it won an award. It gets a big shiny gold button there. Okay. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. Look, he's carrying it on his back. It's like an egg with a crown on its head, isn't it? I showed it to other people. Even though I was afraid of what they would say, I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. <laughs> my idea grew and grew, so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me, showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it is good to have the ability to see things differently. 
couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wing, took flight, and burst into the sky. Look how everything turned to color. Did you see that? This page? Oh, that page had color too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> At one point, it changes colors. I didn't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. Now he's wearing the crown. The end. Oh, nothing I like more than ideas. Do you know that six years ago, I had the idea to start a theater program. And now I have theater students and theater classes. Do you know about 12 or 13 years ago, I had the idea that I could do shows for little kids and I could be a queen. And I did that for 10 years. And they started out as just ideas. I want you to think of what your ideas are. They can be little things. They can be, today I'm going to draw a picture and send it to my aunt or my best friend in the mail. Or today I'm going to go outside and see how many interesting things I can find in nature, like a leaf and an acorn and a dandelion. Anything will do, as long as it's your idea and you give it lots of attention and you follow through and make it happen. All right, you're gonna have a great day, aren't you? Because you're gonna have ideas. You know I love you and I miss you. Hugs and kisses. <laughs>